so Thompson came up with a model for the atom due to this, and this is called the plum pudding model of uh, the atom. And he was, as we said, English, so plum pudding is kind of a British food. Has anyone here ever had plum pudding? A couple of people? Okay, I've never even seen it, so that's good. You must be better traveled than I. Um, so the idea that he had here was he treated the whole of the atom as sort of this positive plum, or this positive pudding. So the majority of the atom was just kind of this goopy positive stuff that you could think about. And within the pudding, he had all these negative charges, which were the electrons, and they were the raisins or the plums that were in the pudding. So this was a, a revolutionary model of an atom when we thought of the fact that before this experiment, the understanding was an atom could not be divisible into smaller parts. And now here we are with subatomic particles with electrons and this wonderful uh, plum pudding model. So for those of you that haven't actually had plum pudding, which myself was included, I threw a picture up here. Uh, this was my first glance at plum pudding. And I guess you can see that this must be that positive part. Uh, most of the uh, plums are within that. And you can see all these little raisins or plums in here. That would be that negative charge. <laughs> 